Big news. Okay. Yes. Uh, right now, the fucking what's setting the internet on fire is apparently there was a UFC retreat. Michael Bisping is dying right now. You guys can't hear him coughing, but oh, I'm very, very sick. He's very sick right now. The fact that you came out to do this podcast shows you the type of commitment that you have. You're a I want warrior. to, I want to apologize because the last few weeks I've been in Thailand and then it was England and the internet was terrible. Yeah. And then now I'm here and I'm sick in person, but um, you know, it will not affect my quality of performance. Yeah. Lewis. I, I am a trooper. Um, Big news, UFC Athlete Retreat this week. Go what on. was that? What is the retreat where you're supposed to be? Yeah, there yeah. So the UFC Athlete Retreat, I guess they did, um, what did they used to call it? The, the Athlete Summit is what they used to do. Right. And they call people in and they, they bring in some athletes and, you know, they uh, get them to inspire everybody, basically. And then they give them some business advice and they give, lecture them about social media, how to make the most out of social. And, you know, I, I went to one and it was cool. It was good. Um but I've been to one. I don't really go to, need to go to any others. Right. And I was invited to this, but as I say, I've, I've had a crazy schedule lately. So I didn't go. And to be honest, I did see a lot of uh, social media stuff at the weekend. And I don't like it. Yeah. I didn't like what I saw. So they were doing like... Well, because they're hanging out and they're playing video games together. And they're being a bit cheesy. And it's like it's a big fraternity. And they're all like, ooh, in the UFC. Yeah, you guys don't work for great. fucking Google. No, we don't. Yeah, it's Thank like, you. Yeah, so they, they I like am those... an individual ass kicker that works for Michael Bisping. <laughs> you Simple know those as bikes that. where it's like eight people on a bike and they're all, they're yeah, all in unison? exactly. They're doing that. And they're like, woohoo, UFC. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and they're all, you know, playing these fucking weird games and, 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 and <laughs> team bonding. There is no fucking team. There's <laughs> No team. Ultimate it, frisbee. It's one person. <laughs> and they're all playing video games. And they're all, oh, everyone in the middle. Oh, UFC. You know. Um, it just uh, doesn't fly for me. It's like, no, no. And you got Sage Northcott there. Sorry, I keep saying Sage. you got the younger generation. They're yeah, all there. Fine. And they think it's great because they're new to the UFC. And I get it. They're, they're, they're pumped. Awesome. They're, they're super pumped, pumped to be there. They're part of the UFC. Yeah, they're drinking the Kool Aid, so to say. And by the way, by, yeah, they're drinking yeah. the Kool Aid. And by the way, I think it's great that the UFC do this. I really do. Um, you know, they say it's giving back to the athletes, and I respect that. That's great. I'm just saying, from my perspective, being 38 years old, 11 years in the company, more fights than anybody in the history of the UFC, most wins than anybody in the U- history of the UFC, most, most time significant, in the octagon, most time in the octagon, most significant strikes, the first ever British champion. I mean, who's counting? Um, <laughs> How, do, don't you own some sort of takedown defense? Uh, no, I'm not sure, record? but more than likely. We'll just, yeah, we'll, who knows? No, who can no, you no. count? We'll throw that one in there just for the sake Why of it. Best takedown defense. Uh, of an English fighter. And which, you know what? Oh, without a doubt. Which isn't I mean, hard. Which isn't hard. Um, so, so listen, it's, it's great that the UFC do this, but it's not really my speed. Um, anyway, so they're all there. Yeah. And this is what you've got to remember. Generally, now, you know, I don't want to talk shit about the UFC roster, but, you know, these days there's a different type of fighter. These mm. days there's a type of fighter that, you know, maybe went to college and fucking got perfect grades. And if you did, that's great, because I wish I went to college and university, but I didn't, but I wish I did. Um, but you got these perfect people that do this because they think it looks cool. Whereas when you got real fighters, and that's, I put myself in there, and I put some other people in there as well, mm. old school fighters, people that you would want by your side if shit went down for real in a dodgy neighborhood, a lot of, you know, you don't want to put them all together. Yeah. You don't want to put them all together and make merry because <laughs> fucking people have got real attitudes of and course. problems and, and, and chip on the shoulders and they like to fight. So that's and they see this fucking guy and they're like, this motherfucker's been yeah. talking shit about me. Yeah. So, you know, well, we'll, we'll see about this. And they're, they're at the UFC athlete retreat and there's no security. <laughs> and uh, one of these people, although it's not a dude, but certainly a real fighter, not a guy, Chris Cyborg. Chris Cyborg is, you know, she, uh, by all accounts, has been through a lot of things in her life. And Ooh, the video, by the way, I think the video is out. The video is out. Doggy. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I haven't see. seen this yet. This is crazy. Right here, look. So everybody listening, Chris. Um, oh, we gotta rewind it. Look at that right there. Look at this. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Shitty angle. For everybody watching, so Chris Cyborg is one of these people. Been through a lot of shit in her life. Incredible fighter, mm. one of the best, well, probably the best female fighter on the Without earth. Without a doubt. Without but a she, doubt. But she, 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 she takes no shit. She takes no shit. And there's a girl out there called, what's she called? Angela Magana. Angela Magana. No idea. No yeah. idea. She's a girl. She fights for the UFC. Yeah, here's here's what a cre- I, I hate to keep on no, bringing right, it back good to the creepy. No, she's, she's okay. But here's the thing, right? As I'm doing the research on this, because I didn't really know that much about her, okay? W- w- apparently what Angela had done preemptively well, well, was this, put a picture 
of the guy from Saw. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Jigsaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and then a split screen of Cyborg and Jigsaw. Yeah, now, same listen, that they look alike. Listen, is Cyborg going to win Miss World anytime? No, no. But, you know, but God bless you. She's a woman. She's during, got during the talent portion, she just beats the shit out of the other competitors. You know, li- 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 you know she, she's been ripped on for her looks before, which I think is, you know, which is it's terrible. Unfair it's unfair. Of course yeah. it is. Of course it Whereas is. Whereas on the flip side, look, obviously if you're good looking, there's benefits to it, but I don't think that there should be, you shouldn't be ripped on for no. not being attractive, especially I, as a woman, because women, it, it, it sucks to say, but they're held to a different standard. And they should be more sensitive to that kind yeah, of thing. they really should. In my opinion. And, and she's also a woman who's kind of projecting. It's kind of a weird thing that she would do that because she's kind of, you know, you talk about like the whole the whole idea of you know you know kind of bullying and, and whatever it is. Yes. In that case, I almost feel like women should stick together. She should be kind of against somebody attacking somebody for the way that they look. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I mean, it's total bullying. And, yeah. and and this Angela Magana girl, she's not even in the same weight class as. Uh, oh really? No, she's I didn't in know a different that. weight class. So therefore, she probably felt. Like she, and bearing in mind, Angela Magana, and, and no disrespect, but let's just say it as it is, she's irrelevant in the yeah. UFC's roster. No one gave a fuck she was at the UFC athlete, athlete retreat. She was probably there because, oh, I'm getting a free trip to Vegas. She was put a, it on social media. She was a plus one for something. Yeah, yeah, no one gave a fuck. Right. I'm sure the UFC weren't fucking going crazy because Angela Magana's there. They're like, right. oh, fucking great. We've got the future of the 115 <laughs> division. Awesome, <laughs> right? So she's putting pictures out there, split screens of Cyborg with this uh, Jigsaw character from the movies. Oh, yeah. For, the last, Try, lost the last four fights. Try, lost the last four fights. There you go. She's irrelevant, but she's doing this to get attention. Yeah. For Herself, and she's picking a fight with Cyborg. So it's not even like she's in the same weight class where she might have to defend herself against Cyborg one day. She probably just thought, listen, I'm going to talk shit. I'm going to get a ton of traction on social media. Yeah, we're never going to cross paths. Yeah, we're never going to cross paths. I'll never have to fight this monster. Yeah, who exactly. Will knock exactly. My head off. Well, you know, there's an expression in English chat shit, get banged. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much what happened because Cyborg saw her and was like, hold on a minute, you, you bitch. And I'll tell you what. Since then, since it happened, Cyborg's, uh, sorry, Cyborg, Magana has gone out. She's saying, oh, she's sending tweets to um, uh, to Cyborg and everybody saying, oh, yeah, since then, tons of lawyers have, uh, have um, you know, hit me up. They want to sue her and this and that, and blah, 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 blah. I never called the police, but I'm going to press charges. It's like, well, hold on. I mean, where do we start on this? Number one, if you class yourself in the UFC, Right, you don't go calling, you don't go pressing charges. Yeah, you talk shit, you chat, you chat shit, you get banged. She got banged. I don't think she should be pressing charges. Now she's trying to sue her. Is she actually trying to sue? Because she said she doesn't want to sue. Well, what did she say? Because I her saw Twitter something. Feed. I got her Twitter feed right here. So here's all the ones. I guess this is the uh, this is the picture that she posted with Jigsaw. And then TMZ report is grossly inaccurate. When the police report is printed, you will see. Talk shit, get hit, then felony charges on your ass, and no more job. See, that's the, see. Yeah. Wh- what's the British version of that? Chat shit, get banged. <laughs> I like talk shit, get hit. That's a that's a. Mu- see how shit, America just hit. does it a little bit better. No, it doesn't do it better at all. Uh, Chat by the shit, way, get banged. It sounds like a. F- it's a whole bunch of. It's a mouthful. Talk shit, get hit. I, <laughs> that's pretty good. Fuck her. <laughs> um, um, cops called me looking felony assault charges. Rude tweets don't give you a license to batter people. No, but I would say that the damage done to uh, Cyborg's uh, psyche, yeah. mentality, confidence is more than the damage Cyborg did from the punch. You're also, the, you made the best point in the beginning of it, though. It's like you guys aren't in the, bi- you, you don't work for Google or Apple. You guys exactly. are in the, the fight business where, you know, you fight, uh, you know, you're not, it's like, I, I know that there's a lot of guys that are like, you know, these young guys and maybe they're, they're college educated. And, and they're clean can, cut. And, yeah, and they can and get into other that. things and, and they've never probably, been into, I, They probably had a never fight, never had a fight yeah, in their life. never a street probably fight. Probably never had a street fight yeah. in their fucking life. Well, guess what? Certain, there's a certain percentage of the roster, the ones that are kicking fucking ass and winning the majority of the fights, yeah. that are the opposite of, of that course. that come from the other fucking and also side got into it when there wasn't money there wasn't Reebok exactly. contracts it wasn't a TV deal when you started doing martial arts you were doing it as fucking DJ Mikey B in the mean streets of fucking England <laughs> where there was nothing there was no future to that it was a big chance no to no for sure exactly. guys that are getting into it now it's like there are guys that get into mixed martial arts the first time they show up at a gym and in their mind they're going I want to get famous and that is a major difference today than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago yeah absolutely they go to a gym they start doing martial arts maybe, I mean a 
classic example is Betch Cohea, who fought yeah. Ronda Rousey for the title. She started doing MMA as a way to lose weight, to get in mm-hmm. shape. And then as she was doing that, she kind of realized, oh, fuck, I'm pretty good at this. And I'm, I'm able to beat up the girls in the gym. So she started taking some fights. Uh, no, no disrespect to Betch Cohea, but that's a classic example of what yeah. I'm saying. So my point is, it goes back. She put all these fighters together. And, and for the most, I mean... Let's take Nick and Nate Diaz as a perfect example. Mm, you yes. fucking want to stick Nick and Nate Diaz in, <laughs> at, in, the in, summit. at the fighter summit with me yeah. and, and, and Cyborg, and Connor. Connor and yeah. It'd be fucking madness. It'd be kicking off left, right. and said, Not that I can't be let loose in a public society because I can. But you put certain volatile people Dude, imagine together. That. Imagine the summit was like, yeah, the Diaz brothers, you... Throw Romero in there for yeah, good yeah, measure. Yeah, Why yeah, not? exactly. Throw Romero in. Fucking, I don't know. I mean, the list goes on, really. There's, yeah, there's a lot like, of them. It would be crazy. But yeah. But, it, well, you'd have all them like, in one corner, and the other corner, you'd have all that, like, the clean cut, the Angela Maganas, you have yeah. your Sage Court, North Court, your 